Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So it's somewhere around 3 o'clock, 10, 27, 2015, 60.1, 62, 63. That says my battery's all charged up. And wait a minute. And I think I have a malfunction here. There you go. That's better, I think. I don't know. Does that make sense? Something like 14... Yeah, I think it's about 14 degrees centigrade and 47% humidity. Had a little bit of malfunction there. I must have hit a button. So, the energizer's all charged up. What am I up to today? You know, I was thinking, guys. Um, uh, looks like this foil's going to work out for me. And I figured I'd give you guys a few details on it. I'm about half done. You can see my dividing line there. This uh, garage is 24 by 24. And that's right at the uh, 12 foot point. So, that gets me to halfway. Um... The foil seems to be helping a little bit already. So, just let's take a few minutes talking about it just in case any of you guys want to make this investment. I bought this stuff on eBay. And that's what it says on the box. I, I'm using it on a ceiling with nothing above it. So I want it to be a vapor barrier, so I went for the non-perforated type. One could get the perforated type. That's who makes it. That's, you know, the Class A fire rating and all that. And that's who it came from. And just quickly, the 1,000 foot roll was 130 bucks plus 18 49 to ship it which takes me to about 150 bucks and I bought a bunch of tape more than I need which was another 34 bucks so for less than 200 bucks um, I'm gonna do up my entire garage 24 by 24 which is about 600 square foot this was for a thousand foot roll all right this is what the stuff looks like It's pretty thick. I mean, pretty strong. Right? I'm gonna end up using the knot, but. I mean, it's uh. It takes a lot to break it. More than I could put on it with just my foot there. says that it's um, got a, what is that, a class one fire rating. I figured I'd put a little fire to it and we'll see what that means. Got the old fire going here. I know I'll never be let back in the Boy Scouts. I think what it what that's trying to tell you is that it'll melt but it won't burn. So we got a little fire going. And it seems to be melting. Well, actually it is it is burning. So it does burn, guys. So I probably wouldn't use it as any kind of fire block. So that old Class A fire rating. 
I guess that doesn't mean it doesn't burn. So there we have it. Because it, it is on fire. There we are. I figured I'd give you guys a quick test run of this stuff. I am a, um, by the way, this stuff is, I believe it's made in the United States. That's what the guy on the phone said. I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing where it says that on the sticker. And it doesn't say anything on the roll. I could have sworn he said it was made in Texas when I spoke to the person on the phone. Once again, it comes in two versions. It comes in the perforated type. I don't think um, if you're trying to, um, to cover up a ceiling with nothing on the other side, like I am, that the perforated type would be a very good idea. And the reason why, as you're trying to heat this place, right, you'll get a hot air blanket that'll raise up. And if it goes through all the perforations, you know, and up and out the, um, the attic. Because in my case, my soffits are opened and my venter ridge is open. So if I put a bunch of heat up there and it just goes, keeps going, that doesn't do me or anybody else any good. Um... So, uh, I went with the non-perf. Now, they say if you, like, put it on the walls, especially if you put it right up against wood, that you're better off with the perforated stuff. So, if any moisture builds up in the wall from temperature changes, the perforated stuff would allow the, uh, the moisture to get out of there and evaporate. So, that's the difference between the two. Once again, for under 200 bucks, I'm going to have a reflective vapor barrier, and it's supposedly infrared reflective, so any radiant energy that hits it, it bounces right back down, and it stays in the room. So, we'll see. Um, but, it already seems to be working a bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm really hoping that it's uh, everything... It's supposed to be. Um, if you decide to put up the vapor barrier and you go to Harbor Freight and you decide to buy this item number, to put this stuff up with, um, instead of doing that, save yourself a bunch of trouble and just punch yourself in the face. That is the worst stapler I've ever, ever run across. I mean, it's just amazingly horrible. We've had more trouble with it. It's to the point where it's really slowing the job down. That's what it looks like. Oh, God, this stapler is the worst piece of junk in the world. Um, why is it so bad? It doesn't doesn't seem to jam up, but for some reason it it decides not to not to fire regularly. Um, to get it to work at all, I had to splay out the prongs because um, it kept having intermittent contact. It wouldn't wouldn't work at all. So finally, we got over that. Then it fell apart. We put it back together again. On staples, it doesn't hold all that many staples, especially when you're doing something like this. So you find yourself um, refilling it fairly regularly, um, which is pesty. Uh, this lock and unlock switch, it, uh, it seems to be very fussy about 
confining itself to an unlocked position. It seems to be locked everywhere. Um, it, it seems to have a, only have a very sweet spot for whether or not it, um, it works or not. So anyway, one thing I, I do recommend if you are going to, uh, to undertake such a job, go and buy a better stapler than the one from Harbor Freight. Probably, I don't know, I might bring that back tomorrow and see if I can't get a refund. It, it was that much of a pest. Um, generally speaking, you know, I own a lot of Harbor Freight junk and I normally work with it or make it work or it works for me, but that thing just doesn't work worth a hoot. So anyway, I um, figured I'd do this quick just in case any of you guys are considering this foil gig. Um, you saw Harvey's burn test. I hope you found that amusing. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your head up. And guys and gals, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.